In the previous tutorials, we covered various cases involving offsets in dynamic memory. However, this case presents a unique challenge. The only reference value we can use is dynamic and constantly shifting. In this tutorial, we will walk through a method to locate and modify a target value even when the reference value keeps changing. We start by hiding the Game Guardian interface using Set Visible. This ensures that the interface does not interfere with the process while we are working on the memory. Process Pause function is used to pause the game. This is necessary because the reference value we need to work with is constantly shifting. By pausing the game, we prevent the shifting of the reference value while we conduct our search and modifications. The variable search value is used to store the range of values that we will search for in memory. In this case, we are searching for the range from 2049 to 2050 because the reference value is constantly changing between these two values. The offset is defined to point to the exact value we want to modify. In this scenario, we are targeting the value 10. The offset helps us calculate the precise location in memory relative to the reference value. The memory range is set to anonymous, using set ranges to speed up the search. This helps avoid unnecessary values, making the search process more efficient by focusing on the relevant part of memory. The search number function is used to apply the search value variable, which holds the range of values we are looking for. The search is conducted using the dword type, and we are looking for exact matches of the values within the specified range. This line retrieves the results of the search. Since there are multiple values within the range from 2049 to 2050, we use the getResults function to fetch up to 1000 results that match the search criteria. In this case, it collects all values found within the specified memory range. The script will apply the offset to each of these values until it finds the target value, which in this case is 10. We add the retrieved results, stored in the variable t, to the list of memory values in Game Guardian. These results represent the memory locations we found earlier during the search. After adding the results to the list, we clear the search results from memory. This is done to avoid unnecessary memory usage and keep the process efficient, as we no longer need the raw search results after they have been added to the list. A variable found match is initialized to false. This variable will be used to track whether or not we find a match for the target value, which we are looking for with the offset applied. If a match is found, the script will modify the value accordingly. The getListItems function fetches the memory addresses for further processing, allowing the script to iterate through them and apply the necessary actions. A loop will go through each element in the checklist. i is the index of the item, and v is the value at that index. This allows the script to process each memory address individually. This line calculates the target address by adding the offset to the current memory address from the checklist. v.address is the current memory address being processed, and offset is the value we defined earlier. By adding the offset to the address, we obtain the new target address where the value we want to modify is located. The getValues function is used to read the memory value at the specified target address. The flags specifies that the value being read is a D word, which matches the type we are working with. This line stores the retrieved value in the checkValue variable, which will then be used to check if the value matches the target value, in this case, 10.
Lessons, get values returns a table of results, check value with bracket notation 1, accesses the first result in the table. The dot value is the actual memory value retrieved. This line checks if that value is equal to 10. If the value is equal to 10, the found match variable is set to true, indicating that we have found the desired value at the target address. The modify table will be used to store the information for the values that need to be modified in memory. Using bracket notation, modify accesses the first item in the modify table. The curly braces define the table's content, which includes address, flags, and value to modify the memory at the target address. Set values applies the memory modification defined in the modify table, setting the value at the target address to zero. After modifying the memory, this line resumes the paused game process, allowing the game to continue running with the new memory value. Toast is used to display a message on the screen to inform the user that the target offset was found and modified successfully. The sleep function pauses the script for two seconds, allowing the user time to read the toast message before the script continues. This breaks out of the loop, meaning the script will stop searching after finding and modifying the first matching value. This part of the code handles the case when no match is found. If that is the case, it displays a message for two seconds to notify the user. Finally, the script clears the list of memory items, cleaning up after the search process. The script demonstrates a solution for searching a dynamic value in memory, applying an offset, and modifying the value when found. It efficiently handles cases where the reference value shifts dynamically, utilizing GameGuardian's powerful functions to locate, modify, and clean up after the process.